Are you from a white trash background? You're um, a scumbag. Scumbag, yeah, yeah, yeah. more scum. No, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, most of my friends are trash from home. Yeah. I think it's a good way to start. Uh, episode 84. <laughs> you used to dress like a scumbag, too. Like, not a scumbag, white trash. Oh, yeah, God, yeah. yeah. This is. I cleaned it up. I've tried to clean it up a little. Yeah, that's a good way to start this episode. Episode 84 of the bracket. We are debating <laughs> the best white trash things or moves. We got Pat returning as a returning champion. Big, big time. I mean, that's tough. I mean, so far, who are the winners? It's been you, me, and who was the me? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Clemmer won one. Uh, and Clemmer won the first one. The first trophy. Oh, good, good ass company. Yeah. As long as we have like a good conversation, a good time, I consider myself a winner every episode. <laughs> okay. Let's <laughs> see. You could say it. It's great. Uh, but France, we have uh, France will be here in a second. Kate is here as well. We want a good connoisseurs of different types of white trash. We have Appalachian white trash, mm -hmm. Long Island white trash. We have Philadelphia white trash. Yeah. We have like new, what would you say? New England white trash is different. Massachusetts, Massachusetts white trash for sure. Yeah. A lot of different. And I don't know. I don't think I don't, don't think of you as white trash. I am not white trash. Yeah. No, you're not. And you've gotten hot lately. You think? I don't think Ooh. so. I genuinely I do. Mean, <laughs> I feel like I've been. Yeah, I've never been fat. So hot no. about Tommy? Was that the cigar picture from Frankie's wedding? That was great. Yeah, it was. Oh, that was a cool picture. Been following up with heat too, like and yeah, seeing you in been... person. Yeah. Do you, are you that chain on right now? Oh yeah, of course. Am I Since popping that out? Great graduation. Fuck I did buy a shark tooth necklace and mom talk too. Oh, that I mean, was nice. That's yeah. sick. Good, thought, good photo of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You look great. All right. All yeah. right. Getting it up. I like this. I no like clumber here to bring you down either, which is nice. Yeah. Which is usual. You could just be standing sideways in here and we wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Between those rowback Sex sweaters. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we got a lot to get to today. So we'll just pump it off. We'll, we'll get moving. First matchup of the day, five versus the uh, 12 seed. The five seed is grocery shopping at a department store, which is a. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's versus yellow American cheese. <laughs> huh. Grocery shopping at a department store, which, uh, oh yeah, I almost, I almost fucked myself it's over. a good I'm one. not saying who did anything. But grocery shopping at a department store, I've done that many times. I think I, I know who's this hey, What does that mean? Like uh, wait, Walmart? I think I, think I know who's like, this one. Like, Target or Walmart? <laughs> like Target or Walmart. Oh, you go there oh, oh I, was thinking, I was thinking yeah. fucking Coles. Sears. <laughs> I know, I was thinking <laughs> Sears. My brain went Sears yeah. real quick. Uh, you know, think like Walmart, okay. Target. Like, okay. Yeah, that's trash. I consider that like surface level trash. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's going up against the number twelve seed. This is an interesting one. Uh, we're just gonna say um, Mountain Dew. We'll say Snapchat because there's some activities and there's three different activities underneath the banner of Snapchat that I want to make you guys like vote on. Adult flirting on Snapchat. Well, yes, but the first being Snapchatting home run nachos from a sports bar with no caption, which is. <laughs> Wait, what? Super specific yeah, guy, right. I'd imagine. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I, yeah. like, I get that. No, it's 100% correct. Uh, a custody custody dispute rant with the Dalmatian filter on your face. <laughs> oh, yes. Yep. That's oh, oh, boy. Yeah. So I, specific. <laughs> the tongue that goes out. Oh, that yes. is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, zoom in, zoom out, Snapchat video of mac and cheese and dinner rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how like producers do it to their beats? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kyle, you always paint a picture. Oh, he does. You always oh, like paint. I, just, I look at the, um, I love when I'm getting high, not anymore, but still looking at the Snapchat map and like mm -hmm. oh, go, the map. white trash haven for me is Parkersburg from the Ohio River Valley all the way up to Youngstown, yeah. yeah, where I also live. So click I click on the red spot if you want to. If you want something, yeah. oh, that the heat map. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I'll be honest. When Snapchat was first suggested, I was like, "That's not white trash. Like that's like teenage kid." And then once I heard, oh, it's the, once I pictured the face filter, it that all is incredible. Sense. I was yeah. like, "Oh, of course, that's a white trash." So do we want to do the custody dispute rant? Yes. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Yes. So the custody dispute rant versus grocery getting groceries at a department store. You're up first, KB. Yeah. The. Um... The custody dispute it could be like the devil horns. It could be Kermit the Frog. It could just be one that makes them like prettier. Yes. Uh, all right, custody Air. dispute, Tommy. Yeah, that easily. I mean, like my last part was right next to a Target, so I would get some stuff there. But that that almost feels like it's more of a city thing than, mm -hmm. than a white trash thing. Um, so yeah, the, there's the, that's a, that's a really good one. <laughs> the Dalmatian. <laughs> the Dalmatian filters. But you didn't even say dog filter. You said Dalmatian, which made it so much better. <laughs> So specific, Pat. Same thing, yeah. It's the it's the filter. Filter. It's 
insane how common that is. <laughs> it's all, the fact it's that we all down. knew. We all pictured it, it immediately. It immediately. Everyone's yeah. got a name of a person who's done it too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dustin. All those women like this, like the, uh, the incisor tear is always yeah. pushed yeah. too far back. Oh, yeah. And then yes. uh, the Marilyn Monroe piercing. Marilyn Monroe piercing. Is, they always that? have all those. That That's the where Marilyn Monroe had that beauty mark. They get oh, the piercing. Uh, there. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Piercing. I should have thought about piercing. So I, I had the biggest crush on a girl in high school who had that. She's long dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen. I think that'll be what we'll be imagining a lot of people who have expired yeah. when we go through these lists. Uh, Nick, so you're going to go with Snapchat as well? Big time. Big time for Snapchat. Hey, can I say something real quick? I ain't young as white trash. That's also true. I, I, yeah. I submitted that. Yeah. Yep. You submitted that? Yeah. All right. Yep, that I ain't young true. is very white trash. I submitted getting the bumper off, right? sticker. Yes, I, took it I off. submit. I, yeah. You took. Did you take mine off? Uh, that one, specific one we were talking about. Yeah. Having a kid that died. <laughs> Drowning? <laughs> Having a kid that died. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. yeah. And getting like a, and the a car tails. decal right. on your Isuzu. Due to your, yeah. your <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. green Isuzu in your front yard that you park <laughs> with the decal on the back. Yeah. Huge angel wings. Yeah, I took that one off. Yeah. Yeah. You might imagine why. Uh, <laughs> right. That's good, clean fun. I gotta go with uh, obviously the the filter. Mm -hmm. I grew up grocery shopping at our local Mega Walmart with my mom, and but I'd always look around and be like, "Well, we're not like these other people." Yeah, but yeah, we were, we were, uh, but no, definitely the filter. Filter. All right, the filter is going to move on. The next one is the number four seed. Uh, frequent Facebook posting and the improper use of our and our. Oh yeah. Here, we are, we are, and there, 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 all over one. the place. Yep. Uh, so that versus the number thirteen seed, which I I wish Francis was here for because this is a submission. I'm going to dox him on it because he's not here. Uh, milk. I can't imagine what Francis what? submitted. <laughs> <laughs> milk? <laughs> he submitted milk. Oh, milk is white trash. <laughs> Britney Spears growing, drank milk. Cow Ripken. And your mom's pouring you a glass of milk with dinner. You're that white was trash. my entire um, life. Milk in a plastic cup with uh, with spaghetti on a plastic yes. plate. Yes. That's yes. trash. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is it, but uh, yeah, it's high high up trash. It's way high up. I, was I don't milk, know. Beating like the generic I Mountain Dews. The more I thought about it, the more I thought none of my uh, friends who were rich drank milk. None of them. Yeah, it was. I weird. think milk is more just like a kid thing. liquid. No, but Remember, like, there was that was huge age. campaign that pushed milk on us for like milk. A long, it was like Britney Spears. Everybody had the milk mustache. Yeah. Big pharma. Hers. Yeah. The <laughs> whole my whole thing was more I thought about it. All like that was the go to beverage at my household. Oh. Yeah. And like, which sucks. You're it's disgusting. terrible. Oh, I had a glass of milk with every dinner. Is that or Dang. worse? Well, there you know. Mountain the rich kids man. had better shit. The rich kids would have like uh, some sort of juice of some kind. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, you guys all know true trash. So, yeah. True trash. You're not drinking no milk. It's any yeah. drink. Oh, no. Any drink but water. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. just don't have water. Just don't drink water ever. Yeah. Also, like juice is a slippery slope. Like if you start getting into like juice is too healthy. Punch, no, juice shit, is too sugary. You could get fat from juice. No, for that's trash, trash yeah. people, they're like Francis, juice. That's started a debate. Francis, you started a debate. Uh, immediately on your entry, we doxed it. Uh, milk being white trash. Oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. So why is milk white trash to you? I'm thinking if if you're just a, an American family and you only have dairy milk in your refrigerator, and you think that a glass of milk is something your kids need to have, and that's what they drink, they go to the fridge and they're like, "I'm gonna have a glass of milk." Not like I'm not going to have almond milk on my cereal, my cashy, or oat milk, or any of that. They never I'm even. So glad you're here. Yeah, Francis, <laughs> you are blowing this. This is white. You're, you're they don't the even patient. know that there are other milks, and it's just fucking whole milk for a kid. And he takes a sip in the summer, and he's got the mustache. So it's white it's, trash to not put almond milk in your cereal. Your kashi. <laughs> it's, it's, your kashi. it's levels to this. Milk I'm eating your kashi. That, uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking if it's only dairy milk in the refrigerator, mm. and there's no, and part of that is like they live in a food desert where, Here's you know, the qualifiers. they don't have the, the, the nearest grocery store that actually might sell some other iteration of milk is 90 miles away. See, I wasn't thinking this in a way. or rural. Well, the most yeah. popular grocery store in our home state is Dollar General. Yeah. And they don't have a produce section. No. What do, by the way, these people drink melted otter pops. <laughs> <laughs> their meals. Give me give me give me the qualifier of uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me the qualifier of like white trash versus poor. 
if you're differentiating those two there's different in a big way. Um, it's, I think a white it's more of a cultural thing than a yeah. like, i guess that is uh, white culture trash, but white can afford atvs and dirt bikes and yeah. cars it's a ch- exactly and above ground it's a matter pool, of they have land or maybe yeah. they can't but they prioritize it so yeah. that they do have those things so, like it'll yeah. be things where like these people can easily do something a different thing than the thing they're doing that is white trash but they choose right. to do that thing instead you know what I mean? They're it's not a matter of their ways. Whether it's like their behavior online or like the way they dress. Yeah, exactly. It's a, Got it's it. a certain How lack they talk. of awareness. Yeah. yeah. I would say. Did you put, did you choose milk because you agreed or you thought? I wanted to hear part of the debate. And also, I, I, I wish I'd had a little more time to like think about it because you brought me in and I, I right in. I don't, I haven't gathered my thoughts. I would have liked to have heard everyone. Did anyone else agree that milk is yes. like I think trash? It's kind of trashy. Well, not for it's that like, reason. There's okay, levels. A thirst quencher is odd. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Someone going into the a kid <laughs> with a wife beater on there you goes go. into a fridge, opens it, and pours himself a glass of milk on a hot summer day. It's disgusting. It's white they trash. Have the mustache until it flakes off. Oh, milk as a source yeah. of yeah. yeah. You're right. You're white right. Trash. I think that's ridiculous. So I uh, no, that's where I think you're right. Where it's a, f- a thirst quencher. Or it's like, hey, it's a uh, beverage. I'm gonna drink this. We don't have juice. We don't have this. We don't have right. that. I'm, I'm not gonna have water. Yeah, or water. I'm not gonna have orange juice. I'm gonna have milk. Yeah, but milk is healthy. <laughs> milk. <laughs> milk. Milk isn't more white trash than Fago Moon Mist. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> the, the ICP drink. I, I I grew up with Fago. That's the that's the same clown Fago posse peach. drink. You yeah. Uh, uh, at heart. Yeah, spiritually, emotionally. Yeah, kind. Why do they love Fago so much? That that's just everywhere. Yeah, I guess. I, I mean, I never saw Fago until I watched an acclaimed, insane clown posse. Was it the meeting of the clowns? I didn't know this was in a gathering clown of the clowns. Yeah, was it? Yeah, they the spray it all over each other. It's oh. Yeah, no, that's a, that's like their champagne is Fago. Yeah, they just. I didn't know that. Wow, yeah, it's their thing. It's a huge thing. Uh, There's there so there. many good ones. I'm thinking of that. I'm mad I didn't it's turn awesome. in now. <laughs> so the milk is going up against for. Uh, well, I don't. I mean, you've <laughs> fucked kind of me. sold me on milk. You no, fucked me with the job. first submission. You didn't even know you're, you're winning God. this. Yeah, it's white trash. No, but now, but the whole Wait, point is we're not supposed to have people Jordan. know whose submissions are he what, right? Here and I was like, I'm gonna dox him. Really? It's punishment for being late. You're gonna get. You're gonna get told on. You didn't being late tell me we trash. were starting. I thought uh, three o'clock every time. Come on. I thought the, since I didn't hear from you that there must be a delay. He did text in the chat. Yeah, I was I was talking to fights. You guys have a chat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a group chat for the show. Uh, but anyway, that's going up against, and this is also a good option, uh, is frequent Facebook posting with the improper use of our and our and we's and theirs and just improper use of all that. Frequent Grammar? Facebook posting. Yeah. That, but that's spe- those specific R, things, yeah. yeah. Our and our, theirs, theirs, and we're like, yours. Was and were. Might yeah. of OF. It yeah, was and were as well. <laughs> If I, if, uh, I think also for the Facebook, it's like when they repost the stuff that's like, let's see how well everyone knows. It's like one to a hundred yeah. things. Like never have I ever done this. And they like yeah. check off the things they have and haven't yeah. done. I scrolled through Facebook for inspiration for before I submitted some stuff. There's a lot of uh, horny posting on Facebook, like sharing like my my girl's pussy when I get home from. Yeah, they're on, they're on to those yeah. memes. They yeah. fa- figured out sexually explicit memes. Yeah, Anything that is too personal on Facebook, anything yes. that you post about your relationship on Facebook, yes. and it's always someone from your hometown it's who married someone else from your hometown. That's the yeah. trash. Throwing it's complicated on your relationships. <laughs> it's complicated. That that's should have never happen. been a feature. <laughs> yeah, that's no, just I'm, a fight. That's so yeah. funny that that was a feature. That's fucking ridiculous. Custody is so funny. Yes. Uh, oh, you missed it. And they, they still announce when they're single. Like, they're like yeah. 30. Yeah. Ask <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Putting a status that says single dot dot dot. <laughs> so Francis, uh, the Facebook posting versus milk. Oh, I, I, I don't think grammatical errors on Facebook are specifically a white trash thing i think there's no racial right he's right about that like you couldn't pinpoint who's making you're saying black people are bad at grammar too. i did not say black people (laughs) i said all races and you pinpointed he thinks that black people don't drink milk is what he's actually saying i don't think they do i bet you i bet you that image i painted (laughs) of the kid running into the fridge on a hot day and pouring a glass of milk is more white trash than the demographic people not using an apostrophe to contract we are. Mm. So you're going with milk? I'm going with milk. One for milk, KB. <laughs> no, because the the true white trash, they are that they're, they're drinking soda. 
That's in that. I don't disagree with that. I would yeah. bet that there's a submission. Right, you're right. Both of these, uh, there's overlap drink. with other types of people. Yes. Um, I think Facebook is very white trash. I'm going to go with the Facebook. Facebook? Yeah, Facebook. I think Facebook is, it's the hotbed of white trash. That's crazy. You guys are wrong. <laughs> That's a wrong take. Oh, Facebook has know. what? Three billion users across the world? Only white trash. It's in the, in, the U- in the United States, it's either old people or white trash. On Facebook? Yeah. There are a lot of like... You could argue its user base is like more diverse than any other network in the world. In the United States. Right, you're right. But milk is... That's... Milk's pretty diverse too. (laughs) (laughs) Milk everywhere. (laughs) That's a fair point. Yeah. Uh, Pat. I'm thinking about who milk is very white trash, especially on a hot day. <laughs> like that being <laughs> milk being a source of nutrition is so white trash. It just brings me so much joy. But when I think about the foggy, dirty glass, oh, it's the glass has like those vertical, foggy, like, uh, like rivets up it. Yeah, from a CC's yeah. Pizza ones that don't that. sweat. <laughs> yeah, it's got fingers. All right, yeah, yeah, you guys are right. There's always uh, bite marks in the plastic glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and drinking it until you're out of breath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> finish it and they are asthmatic. <laughs> <laughs> that is so white. Uh, right, I'm, I'm sold on milk. I, I, bought, I, haven't, I haven't chosen yet. You can change it. You guys if it's drinking milk if it's until, drinking until you're so winded. Much until you're out of breath, I'm in on that. But I will say, when I think about the people from my hometown who post on Facebook, the content that they're posting is so disgusting and so sad. <laughs> oh, it's so tough. I think, like Francis said, there's 3 billion users. I got to go with milk. Can you go with yeah. Are you guys yeah. both switching? But drinking uh, milk until... If it's drinking myth and milk until you're out of breath. Yeah. Milk in general, though, like... Uh, there was like a comp uh, milk and spaghetti might be the heaviest dish of all time. <laughs> yes. And then like the sauce gets in. You see like the oil floating in the glass of milk <laughs> from the spaghetti <laughs> sauce. <laughs> your mom, all right. Sure it enough. All right. Yeah. It's milk. Because your lazy Great mother submission. didn't stir it. So milk, milk. Yeah. Milk's going to win, but I mean, okay. yeah, I don't know if it's like poor white people who were reeling from the, their depression era parents pushing on us because my dad's like when I was a kid we had powdered milk and so you we ha- like had to have a glass with dinner we like had to well, you also have to, to drink it before it. it goes bad yeah you like, had to drink it it was like a yeah. big deal if you like you could never let it it's go like bad a big, like veteran drink yeah it's like uh, so I gotta go you're right there's something about milk that you're right Okay. I mean, it's a veteran drink. I, I, like I should never have order in it. class, like football coach parents so and was veteran on parents. Love. If I hadn't said anything, you guys would have come it's around on milk. It's, no, it's there's some way trash here. Mm. There is, but I still think I mean, good people submission. can get their minds there. Yeah. Mo- mo- uh, moving on, Nick. By the yeah. way, that was your Facebook post one that lost. I didn't submit that. Hey, you said the we or were. I said it when people were talking out loud. They've oh, confused was and were all the time. Oh, yeah. Well, then it was a combination of mm. yours and something. Oh, else. you just changed it uh, <laughs> completely. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats also, on winning one, though, Ken Jack. I also, uh, with grammar, you wouldn't believe how many brilliant, wealthy, educated people fuck it up. Was like specific to was and were. There's something right. about. Yeah. swapping those I'm just thinking of a post where and i've seen this a trillion times especially on my tiktok feed where it's like yeah my man won't take care of our baby a-r-e baby yeah. and i'm just like every time i see that it's always the trashiest white person you've ever seen your entire life and that's where that comes from in my head uh worst one is for me is when people say i could have done that and they spell could space of mm. no, i think of very people few. here do that people here yeah, do that in blogs like and i want to fucking yeah, it's, it does it's, it's in our headlines <laughs> earn our wi-fi it's to the ground yeah could of uh now we have the eight seed versus the nine seed. <laughs> the sucks. eight seed is the hotel jacuzzi Huh. Yeah. Uh, Hotel Jacuzzi is yeah. a great one. Yeah. In and one gym shorts. And one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You just see their in, yeah. like the perfect shape of their cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or it and bubbles one, up shorts, like a dome <laughs> when they come out. <laughs> <laughs> the dome. Into like, and one water dome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you let all the bubbles out. <laughs> yeah. And that's uh, going up against the number nine seed, loudly arguing with your family in public, um, which is another very much up on the white trash train. It could also include, I feel like, arguing with others uh, in public. I think something about your family. Yeah, Yeah. that's definitely, both of these are good. I would change that one to like abusing your kids in public a little bit. Yeah, but we want to say a little lighter, I think. But yeah, that would be up there for sure. 
right. Hotel Jacuzzi versus uh, Loudly Arguing Kate. Oh, man. The whole family getting excited to use like an Econolodge pool is, <laughs> yeah. it's a pretty strong pool. I, I'm going to have to go with that one, getting excited for, because that like, yeah. Yeah, the hotel jacuzzi. Yeah. Uh, definitely hotel jacuzzi. It's always like little kids that shouldn't be always. In there. Yeah, they're in there for hours. Six little kids <laughs> <laughs> burning a lot, boiling. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hotel jacuzzi. Yeah. What was the other one? Hotel jacuzzi and what? Uh, versus loudly arguing with your family in public. More white trash to me is just completely letting There's your kids a... run rampant rather yeah. than like, mm-hmm. unattended children is white trash. Yeah. Sure. I think it, there's such a broad spectrum of what you can argue about with your family. And I think the location depends a lot on it. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of variables. But if I'm just going for pure white trash, it's... Oh, it's a Francis Maza. Well, it just it's, occurred it's, to me you said unexpected children are white trash. And I know that Kate's child was a surprise. No, I said oh, unintended. Unintended. Not, not unintended, Francis. Oh, unintended. Unintended. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. I thought you meant like unintentional oh, children. Oh. I'm like, hey, <laughs> Patty. <laughs> um, I'm going to go hot tub, though. Hotel, yeah. hotel hot tub, yeah. Uh, One more thing to add to the hotel hot tub, and I've seen this. My brother lives in Arkansas, and like so repeatedly that it was shocking to me. Um, walking from the pool to barefoot through oh, the hotel. Saying, and they're, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're walking and they're dripping everywhere and it's so cold, but they don't care. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Get a pop tart yeah. from the vending machine. Like 15 <laughs> of them, yeah. I, I used to do all of this stuff. Hey, you might be sneaky white trash. Yeah. <laughs> Their and one shorts are just so heavy and hanging so down. Yeah. Their yeah. shorts yeah. weigh 50 falling pounds. down. And you can, of that. You can see their crack? ratty Hanes underwear underneath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, always holes ratty in the underwear. underwear. Holy underwear. Like holes in the underwear for sure is up there. <laughs> Uh, uh yeah, I'll go hotel jacuzzi, and you know you want to be in it by. Your, sometimes I like to go in it, but I don't want to be in it when the whole fucking family. It's like a and they have their little party in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, hotel jacuzzi. A little kid run up like cannonballing into a jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah. It's so yeah. funny. Yeah, that's really good, especially especially if there's some sort of um handicap assisting way to get in to the body of water in the hotel. Yeah. I'm thinking you could, uh, for me, it's almost like the indoor pool at a hotel might be more trashy than the jacuzzi. But the pool is, yeah, the pool yeah, too. Think, why? I, oh, I just, right. that's where I see the kids. It'll be the in my mind. Pool and all. I think the, the actual pool, the, the hot tub is grosser. Yeah. But the, the pool is white trashy. The pool has a chlorine content that will melt your skin from your bones and it uh they're playing marco polo in it but it's seven feet by four feet and there's nowhere to hide they're open their eyes underwater yeah they're just those kids are are going blind so uh, but uh, yeah i I go with uh, any pool or jacuzzi in a hotel kids bring like underwater swim gear they bring like the goggles for the hotel oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah diving stuff. The, the stuff for their nose to yeah. pull their noses yeah. see but my they, parents holding your nose is like, <laughs> <laughs> like a shithole motel in wildwood one summer yeah. and we were my brother and i were playing the pool and these girls just started braiding my hair what? like like braiding my hair and i was too like no one in my family said anything i didn't say anything and i just so i just stood there and let them <laughs> Like tightly braid my hair because they, yeah, they seemed a lot tougher than me. Yeah, and but yeah, it was like a wild, the wild west. That pool was like the wild west of you know, kids going nuts. And I remember me and my brothers being very excited to go to. We are my parents booked a hotel that was like twenty minutes away, and we went in the pool. And we were so fucking excited oh, yeah. for it. Uh, that was the highlight of the trip. The hotel. Pool. I still love hotel pools. Oh yeah. Whenever oh, yeah. we're on a trip. I'm going to the pool. <laughs> Large will go in a jacuzzi when we go on NASCAR, and I always found that shocking because he's such like a, a highbrow guy. Yeah, He'll just go on. hang out in the jacuzzi. It's a NASCAR event. <laughs> uh, okay, now we have the number one seed versus the 16th seed chain game. We'll do the chain first. Um, first couple options being um, gas station pizza 
uh, getting arrested for drinking too much Rumplemans, <laughs> uh, religiously watching Big Bang Theory, Zoltron. only wearing a black shirt and khaki pants, uh, <laughs> doing a golf series where you can't even break 90 despite playing golf every single day of your pathetic life. Yeah, that those is. Good. Those are good. Yeah. Those are all good. rejecting the elegant golf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was just Tommy's first like 20 submissions. So I just <laughs> yeah. wanted to include them because they were fun. You think if you did something correct. every day for a living, you, yeah, you would think you'd be good at it. <laughs> or at least getting better. Right, like I never really, I, I'm just recently r realizing how bad he is because, like, I'm like starting to get more into golf a little bit, and friends will be like, "Oh yeah, like I shot like an 86, like 80, it's like," and they're doing that, and it's not like a big thing. Like Trent, that's his whole thing is he's just trying to break it once. I I will say, Trent is getting better than we think. No, okay. I've seen him play. If he breaks it, he's out of a job. So he's, just, <laughs> he's trying not to break it. Uh, all right. The actual options. Um, souvenir shot glasses from a suburb of Myrtle Beach. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Not, not just, so it, it doesn't say Myrtle Beach on it. It says like Cherry Grove or North Myrtle Beach. <laughs> yeah. Or it's the ferry that you have to take to get to yes. the place. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, a fat toddler in a kiss me I'm Irish shirt and no pants. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a dog drinking water out of a kiss me I'm Irish plastic cup. <laughs> they love the kiss. <laughs> yeah. Otter pops on top of the fridge because there's no room in the freezer. <laughs> Otter tops on top of the what? Free, they put on the, top the freeze fridge. pops on top of the fridge because there's no more room for them in the freezer. <laughs> the freezer is all water pops. They're all liquid. Those are good. They're all the I EBT of all water yeah. Otter pops. It was like the netted yeah, the, the mesh bag. bag. <laughs> net, the net. Oh. Yep. You keep them in the garage right yeah. outside the door. So I'm chilling in your bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, freeze pops. They get so many at once. Popsicle stains on your mouth are white trash. <laughs> uh, mom screaming, get dressed. Janae's going to be here soon on repeat. <laughs> it's always, Janae's going to be here soon. Janae's coming. Janae who? I was going to get to that. <laughs> it's always some random person named Janae who has like immunity over their punishments. Janae's about to be here. <laughs> Your ex, your ex, still being allowed to smoke on your porch. Oh, God. <laughs> They're like, that's like the the one thing they can still do. I feel like we're in like the fifth <laughs> inning of like a TV perfect game. <laughs> we all know it's happening. <laughs> Nobody wants to fucking yeah, put their hands on them. On the riding a riding a dirt bike flawlessly in red and black Jordan slides. <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, sports. <laughs> Holy shit! And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to Janae's. Janae, who? <laughs> that last bit. And uh, was it you? You ain't you ain't leaving this house until you. What was that one? I didn't. The, the, the mom started. You ain't. She like the kids in trouble. The, she, the kid can't leave the house. But then the kids just like I'm just going to Janae's. And, like, <laughs> and that's fine. And you never know who Janae is. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. <laughs> You're thinking of one specific family from home. And I know. <laughs> I love that. I swear. It's like a white girl named Janae who braids hair. <laughs> yeah. but it's, so, we don't know who Janae is. Yeah. She has those, a side hustle. Those, those are okay, Bs. Uh, being over 15 and being on a BMX peg bike. <laughs> this Kate's has a great one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, casseroles. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> that was that was mine. I was like, casseroles are big time. You throw tuna in there, mac and cheese, hot dogs, anything. Hot dogs are trash. Uh, two liter bottles of soda, I think. Or I, th I saw that submission. Yeah. I was like, yes, that's correct. Um, and this is a really good one from Twitter. Uh, driving around for more than a week with a plastic bag covering a broken car window. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was a really good one. Mm -hmm. uh, so to go over them again, <laughs> I think trying to make soda healthy. Is it good? Like, oh, it's if you all, like, yeah. oh, it's I, I, it's diet. It's, it's caffeine, caffeine free. free. The caffeine free. The gold cokes. Yeah. The gold. That caffeine free and diet. Yeah. Uh, so souvenir shot glasses from a suburb of Myrtle Beach. A fat toddler in a Kiss Me on Myers <laughs> shirt. No pants. A dog drinking water out of a Kiss Me on Myers plastic cup. Otter pops being on top of the fridge because there's no room in the freezer. Mom yelling, <laughs> "Get dressed, Janae's gonna be here soon." <laughs> on repeat, your ex still being alive. Janae's about to be here. <laughs> Get dressed. I am dressed. <laughs> your ex still being allowed to smoke on your porch. Wait, Kyle, can you explain that one a little bit? Um, it's always a name like Janae. Whenever I was doing <laughs> home visits with the kids in Youngstown area, in the Youngstown area, it was always 
someone is about to pick them up. You don't know who it is, and they have a name like Janae, and it's just understood in the family that that like trumps any uh, <laughs> activity. Any, anything. Yeah, like makes kids um, like Janae's about to be no, here. No, 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 the ex smoking on the porch. Oh that's yeah, funny. like that's like that's the their, their relationship. The caveat of the breakup is like they could. That's where they smoke. <laughs> They're so used to it. <laughs> They'll still be like, who's that on your porch? She's like, that's my ex. <laughs> he's just having a cigarette. Then he'll scream. <laughs> he's that's fucking good. He has one cigarette, then he'll be out. <laughs> Are you back? <laughs> Love that. Uh, like, oh yeah, <laughs> you just having one cigarette. <laughs> Riding a dirt bike flawlessly in red and black Jordan slides, uh, which I uh, just imagine that was the or one like a really good one. Yeah, it's doing something that okay. you shouldn't be able to do in slides that easily. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and I'm just going to Janice. <laughs> I don't know what that came from. <laughs> just go. Oh, oh my God. Um, Wait, so there's two separate Janae and there's, all, there was like, yeah. there's multiple Janae yeah. options. There's, no, there's multiple Janae's in the, <laughs> in the lives of these people. So it was, yeah, right at your pike. So Janae's then, about to be here, and then there's, I'm just going to Janae. So, so the submission yeah, you Janae's had. about to be here. And you had, you ain't leaving this house until you, and then followed up by, I'm just going to Janae's. Janae who? That was how you wrote it. Yeah, like which Janae out of the okay. three that we you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, being on a being over age of fifteen on a BMX peg bike, uh, casserole, two liters of soda, and then driving around for more than a week in a plastic bag covering a broken car window. Uh, so we'll start, Kate. Which one of those stood out to you most for the chain? Oh man, I feel like KB's all tied together. I f- I can picture a whole scene again, very visceral. All, I-, I wish I could pick them all. There's something about. I can picture the guy in the slides who can yes. ride motocross, who can like do anything. Wearing flip flops. Or- he also is the boyfriend who smokes on the porch still. Like he's the same yeah. guy. Oh, I can picture his haircut. I can picture like everything about him. Uh, so I feel like I have to go with that one. Mm-hmm. Something about, and also wearing the Amlon shorts while he's oh yeah, and it's wearing socks with the cigarette slides. hanging out. Socks of his are house. gross. Yeah. And he's really good at sex. Oddly <laughs> enough, he just is. He he like, he's he, got a big cock. He, <laughs> he does. He, it's a shame he can really fuck. All right, that's that's the one. I was thinking this guy's like skinny as a rail too, right? Oh yeah, but skinny abs. He's a rail, but yeah. somehow yeah, yeah. never saw a gym in his life. Really? Like really long torso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's all he's that fucking like, milk. Good body. He's all like, fucking milk. Yeah. His Four torso different grew kids tall. With different moms, but still a good guy though. Yeah. Like still enough. You can fix guy. him. That yeah. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> that, definitely that guy. Slides guy. Those guys always have like the dented chest. Yes. Always have a dented yes. chest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One real, one or two really bad tattoos. Oh, well, that's so, coming up later. Some sort Don't of you worry. Severe birth defect that they ignore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. My extended family has a uh, an ex that still smokes on the porch. <laughs> the thing is, he That's keeps he ke- there's the like, <laughs> a real like sun stained Bix lighter that just stays out there. <laughs> that, that's How's like that? a real light pink now. <laughs> Like his just like there's just like a, a potted plant That's with true. all his cigarette butts. It might have been a wheeling thing. And then you'll just go out and talk to him, and then yeah. just they don't go off. inside. Oh. They hate each other, oh. but they're still like, yeah, he's a, he can do that. So you're going with the smoke and uh, that 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 yes, <laughs> Pat. Yeah, there's something like for some reason casserole being white trash is so <laughs> fucking funny to me. Like needing all of your nutrients wrapped into something is funny, but. Pegs is good. That's good because it implies either they lost their license, never had it, no car, DUI, or stole the bike. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah. that's perfect. Adults. And like, and it's slides yeah. guy who has the BMX bike sure. a lot of yeah. times. Yeah. I don't know. I think, but there's something about just like the moment of peace between a couple who hates each other being understood <laughs> that in this specific area he can smoke, and I'm okay with that, and I'll ignore it. That, that's that's like people <laughs> yeah. smoke it on the porch. Yeah. That one's yeah. the best one. I think that's one that just made the most sense in my mind. I like the Janae, but there's the two I could really picture because even smoking cigarettes, I feel, is relatively white trash to a degree. So like having it be so important to you that you just can't let go of that. Um, right. I think it encapsulates a, a lot about what white trash really is. 
Smoking cigarettes is either extremely cool or extremely white trash. There's a very black and white type of thing to it. Every episode of Cops has an ex smoking on the porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yes, true. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't get, I don't understand it, but it, yeah. and the ex will like travel to get there. Yeah, it will make a pit stop. Just like out. Go out. Yeah, I gotta stop at my exes and smoke on the porch. <laughs> so that you're going with the ex as well. Yeah. Francis? I like that one the best. I think that one is so funny and so uh, definably white trash. So the smoking is going to go up against our number one seed of today, which is uh, <laughs> having crap on your front lawn. So inflatable pool, lawn chair, oh, broken yeah. cars, usually multiple broken cars. Like Yeah. School bus. School bus Ford, can yeah. be up there too. There's a school bus in your front yard. Inflatable Christmas decorations. Yes. And I would include, oh, yeah. there's a lot of just ah. crap on your front lawn. That is a very white trash thing in general. Uh, so that's going up against <laughs> letting your ex smoke on your. Porch. Uh, Francis. Oh, it's too bad to see the ex porch one go, but there is no, I mean, I can picture miles and miles of roads in Northern Maine where you are just, you are just passing unfinished projects and, you know, hoarders fucking so buffets. Um, of just rusted car parts and nonsense. Basketball hoops that are tipped over, lying yeah. prone oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. on the yeah. lawn. Or just the basketball hoop back up, but the rim is like vertical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one's ever shooting on it. Uh, so I'll go with uh, I'll go with all the shit on the lawn. Shit on the lawn, KB. Yeah, this seems, if it's in Maine, it seems to not be, it be a nationwide, and it seems to be a sp- just a white thing. Mm-hmm. The shit on the yard, from what I've seen. Yeah. I don't think other cultures do it as much. Yeah. I mean, it is, in my experience, oh, at least on Long Island, like, it's always... Yeah, like furniture, yeah, like cars. cars. Front lawns aren't for utility. Mm. Yeah. They're, right. they're for, for show. show. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you're going with this shit on the lawn? No, smoking on the bed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, st- I'm sticking with the smoking ex. The, the, I'm, the male, it's always a male on the porch and the ex girlfriend's right. inside. That's and she always reminds him that he can't come in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Better finish that. <laughs> that. You're not coming in here. Yeah. Get out, Randy. <laughs> uh, Pat. Um, I think, like, if you see someone smoking on the porch, you don't necessarily know that they're white trash. But if you are driving through a town, especially if the town is a little nicer and there's one house that has a couple broken down cars or shit on the yard, you're like, oh, these are the town trash bags. Mm-hmm. So I'm going mm-hmm. with things on the lawn. Two to two. A friend of mine grew up like way in the cut, but he had a, an above ground pool in his front yard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's oh, the Lord. Uh, you got to show off things. Yeah. <laughs> Bragging about it. <laughs> so I'm going with that. Front lawn, that's that's pinnacle. Uh, crap on the front lawn, three to two. Front lawn, there's always like an overgrown little tyke's house that's growing grass on the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, the smoking one's so good, but the front. All right, so the crap on the lawn is going to move on. Yeah, uh, on the other side, we have the number six seed. Oh, and by the way, the loser of that one's the, of, um, well, never mind, it was the smoke one, which we already talked about. Uh, on this side, it is water parks, number six seed. Uh, water parks, and this is where it comes back to when we were talking about defining what white trash is. You could be relatively wealthy and go to a white water park and still be white trash. Yeah. Um, and that is going up against the number eleven seed pot leaf apparel. Mm. So you're oh, wearing nice. You're wearing a shirt with a bunch of pot leaves, a hat specifically. I'm always nice thinking submission, of whoever that yeah. was. Uh, so Kate pendant. Yeah, yeah pe- uh, oh pendant. Pot leaf apparel versus water parks. We do a couple water parks this summer already. Um, <laughs> there you go, water parks. Park. Yeah, and again, it's that same thing as shopping with my mom at Walmart. I'm like, well, that's not me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got to go with the pot leaf apparel. Yeah, pot leaf apparel. Got pot it. leaf apparel. Yeah. Weed used to be really cool, and then it got so uncool so fast. So uncool. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Um, water parks, though, are is there a high end like water park that's not accessible to everybody? No. Yes. There's some yeah. like uh, I know in the Poconos there's some that are like within yeah. resorts. So it'll be like the Great Wolf Lodge. So you at least have to have enough Even money that, to I stay feel. there. Tommy, I've you been to the Great Wolf Lodge. We're at a is water park. Trash. White trash. It is. It, it's yeah. I'm not saying it's a leap. I'm just saying you at least oh, have to have enough money water. to get right, a hotel. Right. Wait, I might reverse my thing because Great Wolf Lodge is like 
what white trash people think a nice yeah, yes. 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 which right. Tommy just did. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, and I, I don't know how pe- how people were getting cut all the time, but like they're always the water park. They're always wearing bandages. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Remember oh. the wave pools well, had like the popcorn flooring floors. that will just yes, tear your curls. feet and the ass yeah, of your skin. I was putting all my shit in these nasty lockers. They also let rusting. people with inner tubes in on at the wave pool yeah. and they just blast you and they're like sharp. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you scrape the bottom of a wave pool, it's like being in a motorcycle car. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and like, like everybody in around. everybody in water parks typically uh, either has a C-section scar. <laughs> Or is oh, yeah. wearing a T-shirt. It's, like they, it's a place to go to flaunt huge. your like body scars and deformities. <laughs> yes. Oh, so you're gonna switch to or, or like a heart like surgery scar. Yes. I had I, I submitted one to Ken Jack that I don't think you I don't think you would have okay. included. But I said using your C-section scar as an accent in a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> using anything like yeah. nipple yeah. as an yeah. accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm switching to water parks. The more I th- sorry, the more I think about it. Right. No, I'm with you on water parks just because it's almost a great equalizer. Oh, like yeah. the wealthiest could have, it's the same amount of fun you're having. I don't know if money's going yeah. to get you anything better there. Oh, there's right. always the horny couple like m- like making out yeah. and the- waiting in line to go down the big on slide. A d- on a like, date. And yeah. they're like, the water slide. parks are, p- when it comes to like entertainment, are pretty dangerous, aren't they? Like people yeah. die at water parks. I think so. Yeah. I mean, they- <laughs> they're caution to the wind. Yeah. So you're going to switch to water parks as well? Yeah. It's always like a nacho floating, but it's like oh, yeah. just liquid. Okay. Yeah, they get out of the... They're s- soaking wet and just dripping onto their cheese fry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> chlorine, chlorine hot dog. It's Pruny disgusting. humans. Yeah. yeah. You're there too long. I, and I fucking... I love Splish Splash. I was going to say, I, I was originally on the other side. I've now been painted such a vivid picture of Splish Splash, Splash specifically yeah. where I'm like, yeah. God, it's so white trash. It's like in the mid... Because... And they're also like fat. Lake Park. Yeah. also fat. It's true. So Splish Splash is in Riverhead, which is about as far out on Long Island you can get before it gets rich. And like, it is just so gross. It's disgusting. It is but so if they've gross. got a lot of fun rides. Dude, the rides are great. Yeah. Um, Pat? Yeah, it's got to be water parks. I mean... It's just like the clientele, like they run commercials to get people there. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, it's water parks without a question. Water parks? Yeah, water parks. Another for water parks is going to win, but no one's win. hot at a water park either. That's true. No, you're right. And if there is one hot person, she is miserable. Yeah. Because every guy is just fucking. She's got a very There's white friend. trash hot at a water park. Yeah, exactly. That's a very. Right. Like, I love white the trash. The hot girls that go to water parks, like, go there to be flirted with, like, little little kids will flirt with you. Little boys. Yes. Flirt with, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Year old girls there. They love you. They love it. Yeah. That's a, mm-hmm. Oh, you're so like, cute. Tap them on the head. Yeah. Yeah. They'll give you a chance, though. Yeah. 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 Sounds very personal to you. Yeah. I'm hoping I get on that Jerry, bl- Jerry Thornton blog. <laughs> Uh, so you're going with water parks. Water well. parks is a great pick. Francis. Water parks. Water parks is going to move on. Nick's had the pot leaf apparel, which was a great pick. Oh, it's too bad. That man, that was super good. Yeah. And uh, that is like an instant. You can, you know, uh, next is the number three seed, which is cartoon pajamas. Uh, mm-hmm. So cartoon pajama pants, think Looney Tunes, p- pajama pants. Tweety, Tweety Monster. Tweety. Bird. Yeah. So Tweety, Tweety and Taz like, started off white, the white trash movement Oh, like the '90s, I think like wearing these out in public. And that's part yeah. of this. Is okay. Yeah, public. yeah, yeah. I was gonna they, say they, they couldn't afford like the better characters, the more popular characters, like Bugs. Funny, or, no way. I, I'm thinking Tasmanian Devil, T- Tasmanian yeah. or Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird and and Tasmanian Devil are the big two. Mm-hmm. Those were eight, those are getting it. Yeah, Cookie Monsters, Cookie up, Monsters up there too, up for there. sure. They're just character Pepper. for girls. It's always Tinkerbell. Oh always. yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That's true. Yes. Uh, but cartoon fictional character child characters pajama pants uh versus the number 14 seed the dudes that wore taz like related to him (laughs) nobody can hold me back (laughs) like this guy fucking gets it yeah (laughs) i go a mile a minute (laughs) work on that what (laughs) work on that (laughs) uh it's going up against the number 14 seed uh i'm just gonna say like non-traditional sort of pets so like the kid who had pet spiders and lizards and shit along those lines. Reptiles. I think reptiles yeah. and spiders. Spiders, I think more so. Sp- like having pet bugs is pretty it's pretty high up there. Uh, so we'll start with you, Francis. The pet lizard bug combo versus uh, cartoon pajamas. 
I I don't really summon a an image of a person who's white trash when I think of the cartoon pajamas. Oh, you're oh my god. Oh, we're we're clarifying in public, correct? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like a seven okay, yeah, yeah. No, All right. Yeah. Right yeah. Here. I was just thinking waking up from bed. No, no, no. Uh, They're wearing them out to grocery shop. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking gross. Um ugh. <laughs> it's disgusting, people. Um, so they're wearing them to like hot street festivals, getting yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And but they're wearing things. them to their their town's Fourth of July. Yes, yeah, yeah. Like the, uh, the fair yeah. event. Where Those the, people had children young. Yeah, yes. Yes. usually yes. 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 And one of them probably died. Always. Usually, ah, yeah. Tommy <laughs> playing the game with the quarters that fall over because they need it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then shaking the machine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Knock them in. Dyed red hair. Getting crushed by a very vending red. machine is very white trash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The fair is very white trash. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um. I'll go with. Uh. I'll go with the other one though. Remind me. Pet lizards and pet, bugs. Pet, pet bugs, man. Anybody that has a pet furry spider, they never see it. It's un- it's under that log. <laughs> <laughs> well, then why have it? <laughs> they don't ever come out, you know? It's, it's just under there. He sleeps during the day. Okay. <laughs> when was the last time you saw it? I mean, do you know that it's in there? Anyway, so, yeah, pet, pet reptiles, lo- you know, bugs specifically. Uh, KB? I mean, the... The pajama pants in public, I think, is the pinnacle of white trash. Mm. These people don't wear any. They wear it's either that or like shitty, loose fitting sweatpants. Mm. Wherever they go, that's pinnacle of white trash to me. Yeah, usually a bleach stain or two on them too. Yeah, I'm picturing it, her at like a, a 7-Eleven or gas station with yep. like cigarettes, a couple Gatorade bottles, just white, an awful white, snack white selection. Top with the belly showing. The, 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 the dirtiest of the eyebrow ring. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Uggs, yeah. The where like the Uggs. soles aren't even touching yeah. the ground. It's the side of the Uggs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Touch the ground. Yeah. She might ask for a lottery ticket as she checks out. Yeah. I'll go. I'll go with that. Cartoon pajamas, Pat. Yeah, for me, lizards and reptiles are more of a representation of like incel, like yeah. weirdo. Weird like, dudes. Mm. Uh, like uh, everyone's a little afraid of this person. Like they're just a little off, but they can be cool. But like KB said, there's nothing more white trash than seeing someone who hasn't reached their potential just be up because it's their choice mm. out in public in pajama pants with cartoons on them. They like have a girl who could be hot, but she's wearing... Yeah, she's always kind of hot. Yeah. 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 If only she could ho- afford a better hairdresser. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Just work, eyebrows work are too hard. thin. Oh, the hair is yeah. fried. It's, it's the hair crinkle too, scrunch. The hair is fried. really crinkly yeah. scrunch. Yeah. And the straight bang. It's like the guy version of, like I think, the long basketball shorts. Like the ones yeah. that go down to like here. Yeah. She comes from a decent home, but that's boring for her. Mm. So she had behavioral issues in school. <laughs> You know what I mean. Describing bad Barbie, whatever her name is, basically. Yes. Uh, yeah. Nick. So I think it's choosing to have a pet that won't love you, right? <laughs> like They're you can't gross. play with it. Yeah. You have to keep live crickets in your home. <laughs> they always <laughs> escape. Yeah. They're impossible. You, you don't touch your pet. It takes up space. It smells. Uh, and you have to be in constant fear of it escaping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's kind of expensive. Mm. Uh, I'm going with like a tarantula or lizard person. Tarantula lizard person. And they act like they love it. And they're just like, oh, yeah. it's, it's the best. Why? Yeah. <laughs> it is like a showy, like white trash luxury. Like I'm picturing again, the, the guy with the slides who can do anything. He's yeah. got a snake yes, and he loves, whatever. you come back to his house, he's going to feed it and you're going to watch. But you know, he's not treating it right. Like, no, no, yeah. not at all. No. Um, that's your choice then are you yeah because they're okay. buying the, a lot of these people are buying snakes just so they could feed them live mice yes mm-hmm. and they love that very white yeah. off on that almost mm. yeah that's um so I have two one I was at a very white trash spot around Fort Bragg and they had all their daughters crammed into one room so they could have a snake and like reptile room uh, so they like literally no took a bedroom way. away from their kids. Oh my so they could have a reptile room. Terrarium. And I, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And they were like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not cool. That's nice. I was like, oh, like, yeah, that's, uh, sure. Uh, RDT, who we work with, is a huge reptile. I heard. Is he? That. Yes. What? I didn't they, know that. Yeah. Yes. He's Jews can reptile. be reptile people. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was more of like a gentile. 
we can cut that. But I don't. And then one of my warm yeah, white trash friends growing up had a gerbils, and I feel like every few months they're like, "You're not going to believe who had 15 babies again." Oh yeah. And it was they always just was like 20 million gerbils being yeah. born. Their in gerbil this died thing. in the most horrific way you could possibly. Oh imagine. yeah. They oh yeah. Get into like the AC. They were like yeah. eating. Yeah. 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 And they're just like yeah, that's that's the smell. It, we'll it get it out. It yeah. Jumped into like a, a vat of boiling oil. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But it was the smell of like staying over the night there and like smelling the wood chips and like the whatever like i don't know so i feel Ugh. like i gotta go with that one but like right. All right. unnecessary pets. tied up then. good question are dogs or cats more white trash cats oh they're both um I think they're both in different it depends ways. on what it, kind of dog you can't own the cat both like yeah, I, I, no, I mean, no, that's very true the, no, because can't be owned dog shit on the carpet is tough but a really full litter box is also pretty white yeah. trash so <laughs> The dog also has like a broken paw. But what's more white trash than the beware of dog sign? I think having both a lot of dogs and cats together yeah. is pretty white trash. It's animal abuse. Uh, I, think the, be- I think the beware of dog sign pushes that over the edge. Yeah. yeah. Having a dog that's Having that patch nice in your lawn that's just dirt yeah. where it runs back and forth. Yeah. The cat's yeah. named like, yeah, that's Smokey. And he just runs in and like he's got never been checked for anything. They just say it's their cat, but they, they just showed up one day. Yeah. Like, that's very white trash. Yeah, claiming cat a wild animal. Cat just decided he's never been in your home as yeah. your pet. Yeah. It depends yeah. on the animal's behavior. If your animal is only nice to you, that's a white trash animal. Uh, So Gucci, tie break. So when you brought up the exotic pets, what I had in mind was like a like a ten year old going out in the woods and finding a turtle and then claiming that as his pet. That's my idea of like a white trash version of that. But the the cartoon pajamas is truly, I think it is the signifier for her for white trash. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, So cartoon pajamas gonna move on next up, and uh, that the pet. I don't think that's just a white thing though. What, the pajamas? That's true. That's fair. That's Depends on fair. the character. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. But uh, the the pet tarantula one was Francis's. I think that was great. That was when I min- immediately thought of like three different people I knew that had them. Yeah. They were gross. Um, okay, so now we have the number seven seed versus the 10. The seven seed being Scratchers. Uh, scratch off lottery tickets. Oh, uh, yeah. This is saying. not just white. That's also true. That's very It fair. is a good pick. White yeah. trash is like white. Like it's more of like a state of mind, mm. uh, and that's yeah. going up against milk's pretty white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Milk's pretty white trash. Yeah, uh, that is. And that's going up against the number ten seed swimming in shorts. And again, we talked about this a little bit. It wasn't part of that last one, but swimming in like big ass basketball shorts, no bathing suit owned in your household. That's pretty white trash. Uh, so scratchers versus swimming in shorts. Kate, I can't stop thinking about Slides guy. He's yeah. really in yeah, my head a, now, man. Yeah. I really. Uh huh. And he could stroke. <laughs> he, can, he can, man. He's stroke it. Yeah. Takes you to the swimming hole. You just got done feeding his snakes. He's like racist. <laughs> he's right, he's but black. Oh yeah. He's all yeah. Horned up. Yes. Uh, yes. I can't tell if he's like he loves trying to be music. black or very racist. <laughs> I'm in stud ear- earrings in from ground. Spencer. He's racist as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Subwoofers in his trunk. <laughs> and he'll cream you. He'll cream pie. <laughs> cream pie. Yeah. Absolutely. He's got a latex allergy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go again. It's oh, like you a, wanted me to pull out? I gotta go with swimming in like shorts. <laughs> <laughs> he has the oh, longest fuck. torso, the longest torso, <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise not yeah. that tall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he could do like two flips off the bridge. Yes, he loves oh, the yeah. gainers. Yeah. 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 And his shorts just go. <laughs> and you, you hear like the w- ripple of his shorts as he's doing the gainer because he looks like <laughs> smacking. He looks like fucking Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's built. Every white trash dude's built like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so you're going with the uh, swimming in shorts guy, Nick. Yeah. It's got to be swimming in shorts. They're like, <laughs> his boxers are like just as long because like the shorts are so heavy. They're down to <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. Got, like the plaid boxers <laughs> and they're soaked and like, in that- it's so funny. Oh, yeah. The string on those shorts has been lost forever, too. Yeah. You can There's no way to tie them off. Or it's just like the string's on one side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, so there's another for shorts guy, Pat. What was it against the upper scratchers? Oh, definitely shorts. Mm, swimming in shorts guy. Oh, swimming yeah. in shorts. Swimming yeah, in shorts. It's at the public pool that's just a rectangular pool with nothing else to offer. <laughs> <laughs> it's fenced off too. Very with like barbed wire. Uh, Francis. I like swimming in shorts. Yeah. Swimming in shorts. It's going to move on. Uh, now we have the number two seed. Bad tattoos. Mm. Bad tattoo. Looney Tunes. Barbed wire. Tramp stamp. Ba- I think bad portraits of a baby. 
is is oh, very yeah. much up there for white trash tattoo. Uh, Tribals has white dudes as well, also up there. Uh, and that's going up against the number 15 seed, which is Smoking Inside. Smoking indoors, very white trash. In their, like, yeah. In their home or their car, as yeah. they, like their kids in the back. That is like yeah. a funny, like, oh, I'm smoking, like just someone who catches what they do. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> so, Francis, you're up first. <laughs> smoking indoors or bad tattoos? Oh, my God. These are tough. Mm-hmm. This is tough. Ugh. But when you are somebody who is so accustomed to the smell of cigarette smoke that it's seeping into your furniture, your clothes reeking of it all the times, it's just part of your world. Oh, you are dark. You're a dark soul. (laughs) That's a dark life. And that is really gross. Smoking indoors. Smoking indoors. <laughs> Maybe. This is a good one. They get. They always get the tattoos when they're like 16 and it just says like First family day across can. their yeah. back. Their mom takes them. Yeah. yeah. Desire, <laughs> motivation on their forearm. Yeah. Yeah. Smoking, in, smoking inside is good. I'm going to go smoking inside. Another one for smoking inside. I think it's bad tattoo. I think every single... S- selection that we've thought of today whether it's the ex on the porch it's Jalen, it's the family at the water park it's the girl in the tasmanian devil pajama pants they've all had tattoos in my head not a single one of them has not had a tattoo yeah, and the right. bad tattoo. A bad tattoo do you mean janae when you Nay has Jaylen? a janae tattoo <laughs> <laughs> janae has a tattoo first Jalen. Yeah. Alien Janae, whatever, whatever the, the one from kb's hypothetical was yeah. uh they're having a tattoo of her own name on herself, <laughs> yeah <isn't it? laughs> Uh, yeah, it's always the tattoo. The tattoo, Pat? I think my grandmother was a big smoker, and she smoked inside so much that when you would go take a shower in the bathroom, the walls would bleed yellow nicotine oh, God, off, dude. off the walls. Yeah. And then she would get mad at us <laughs> if we said anything about it. She'd call us, she'd go, you're being babies. <laughs> but, I, but I think like rich people in like the 90s are... We're still smoking inside, right? Yeah, but I, I mean, I think thing. like people now. were just addicted. Yeah, yeah, they probably were in a six hundred square foot craftsman style home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go with. I think just smoking, like not in an ironic way, inside is mm-hmm. is very trashy. Nick, I got hand me downs from my aunts, my cousins, and the, my aunts were smokers, indoor smokers, and so like my clothes that I wore were also too big now and smelled like cigarettes. You couldn't get the smell out. But it's got to be bad tattoos. I mean, I have them. Like, if you had a hundred bucks, you could go and get whatever you wanted. They wouldn't check your ID. It's always like your dead pit bull's paw print. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's bad tattoos. Bad tattoos, Kate. That's, i Everybody knows bad. I have a bad tramp stamp, and I was married to a guy with a horrible tribal, like huge <laughs> tribal. Yeah. And uh, it was barbed wire. It was red it was and barbed black. wire and, and tribal. And tribal. Oh and, my combo! Yeah. Um, so that's... dude had the longest torso. <laughs> you are the most fortified tribe. <laughs> you walk into oh, wait, the dark. I, wait, yeah. was Kate's was tattoo the... and the guy's thing on the side? <laughs> was was the tribal like symbol done in barbed wire? We or were like... interweaved. Oh my god! Wow. Went through, and he had like huge. Yeah, uh, no, I've taped. It's bad tattoos. Is yeah, my yeah. top three. Yeah. It's bad. But we also, growing up, my, my grandparents, my dad was one of a ton of siblings, and they all smoked in my grandparents' house. And I remember as a kid, always getting yelled at for knocking over the ashtrays because there were <laughs> ashtrays everywhere. And all my aunts, like, I remember getting, like, accidentally burned by Aunt Helen. Like, you, like, everybody was smoking inside. And my dad would smoke Marlboro Reds in the car all the time. Mm-hmm. And I, like, to this day, I smell secondhand smoke. And I'm like, da da. Like, <laughs> <"Bah-bah."> yeah. Um, <laughs> so. I by God, it's the tattoo. It's like a specific tattoo. white trash t- tattoos too are very specific. Yeah, mm-hmm. like Jesus crying on the peck. Yeah, and then yeah. it's like the it's eyes are crosses up really eyes, bad baby yeah. footprint. Baby footprint. Yeah, like, uh, the dudes that have religious tattoos commit a mortal sin an uh, hour. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Bible, a Bible passage written in that sort of medieval script. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a cousin. He's like my second cousin from Delco, who has a really awful Confederate flag tattoo on his arm. Oh. Delco. Yes. You should get a really good ta- Confederate flag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Pat, Bad. show it off. I know you got one. Well, I body art. 
<laughs> Wait, you have a tattoo? Pat has. I well, think, this was done I think by Kat Von D. Be- oh yeah, yeah, you do. Wait, this is exactly what I we're talking what this about. Is I don't know if I want to show it off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Let's take a ping. Also, before my reveal, before I forget, um, having the name of someone who died that you weren't very close to. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. very yeah. wide true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, when did this happen? Oh, uh, yeah. Pat, why don't you describe it? Yeah, talk to us. Talk us through this. Uh, uh, Mike. What does it say? What you are looking at <laughs> is a African tortoise <laughs> with live and let live. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, they say don't put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. <laughs> No, when did Things you Things are too that? good to pass up. What was the brainstorming process for that? Uh, there was not. There was. I, Why'd you I choose? I was, how old were you? Oh, I think I just turned 18. It was more of an act of defiance. Mm-hmm. I think I'd saved up a little scratch from working at the local Panera Bread. So I, so I drove my... <laughs> Why an African So I drove my tortoise? 1999 Mustang over to, oh, oh, yeah. over to Milford, Massachusetts. And uh, in between the tattoo artist nods, he would kind of wake up and, and uh, he gave me this thing. I thought that was like Cherish a stack it. of books. I can't even tell it's a turtle. African tour. How you ended up gay. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, what the hell? That background. Why did you choose that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There it is. Well, yeah. uh, was another... I love the African tortoise. What's your favorite thing? Yes. Not bad. Yeah. There's another no very idea. funny story with this is Andrew Manley, uh, tech guy Andrew. Yes. He has on his back, he asked, he saw this, he was going through like a booklet and he saw like at a tattoo of, uh, parlor and he found this cross he thought was really cool. So he got tattooed on his back. It was a Russian Orthodox tattoo <laughs> cross. He's not Russian Orthodox. <laughs> He's Catholic. He just thought it was cool and he got it tattooed on his back and it's huge and didn't, didn't realize that. it. It's awesome. Yeah. He also has the Long Island outline on his arm, which is like for us. Oh, a state outline. That says white trash. I have it. That is his white trash. Long Island. Oh, you do. Of Long Island? I, no, no, I have West Virginia, but I, I, I took my dad on his 50th birthday. He wanted to get West Virginia and he got a frayed. So I was like, I'll get the outline real quick. But I yeah. haven't done anything else to it. West Virginia is a cool outline. There is it? Yeah, is it? Unique. Does. All mine are bad. Yeah, area, not- area code. Yeah. Established in your birth year. Oh, yeah. You're tied to a location. So Manly has the Long Island outline with the Irish flag in the filling it out, which is uh-huh. about, that is very white trash. I being I, being Irish above is above the root trash. of your yes. cock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, one right here? Yeah. The lawnmower in your pubes. Oh, God. <laughs> Janae definitely has the smoker boyfriend's name on her somewhere. Uh, yeah. yeah. Porch smoker. He's trying to like work it into a different word. Doesn't <laughs> really work. You can still tell. Uh, okay. So we were tied up with bad tattoo versus smoking inside. Gooch. No, okay, KB, switch. I oh, you switched switch your vote? Yeah, it's it's a bad tattoo. Yeah. Bad tattoo it is. Bad tattoo's going to move on. Um, the smoking inside one, I don't think this was actually, like, I combined five different ones for smoking inside. I gave it to Tommy because he was the first really? one. You were the first one to give one that was close to smoking. So I was like, okay, I'll just throw it on Tommy's name. Of all the things in life, one of the best has to be getting high whenever you want, wherever you want, without the paranoia of consuming some sketchy black market bunk. What's the best way to do that? With 3 of course. They have the highest quality cannabis products from their delicious Delta 9 edibles to their industry-leading Delta 8 products to their new line of Delta 90 vapes and everything in between for all racing fans and cannabis vape enthusiasts. And by the way, they're introducing a new thing. We talked about this, I think, on the last time with Jeff. Kyle Cush disposable vape that pays homage to the NASCAR driver Kyle Busch with its potent blend of Delta 8, HHC, THCP, and CBC. This disposable vape is designed to deliver an exhilarating vaping experience that you will not soon forget. So what are you waiting for? Race to 3 chicom and order your Kyle Cush disposable vape today. And while you're at it, grab other Kyle Cush merch for some extra and maybe some extra gummies. Yeah, the gummies. We talk about them all the time. Gummies are amazing. Lights, camera, bars to listeners get an exclusive 15% discount on all of 3 Cheese premium THC products. Go to 3Chi.com and use promo code LIGHTS15 to get 15% off your order. Must be 21 or older to purchase. Please use responsibly. Uh, okay, so the playoffs. First matchup we have is drinking milk versus the, uh, the Snapchat scenario, which we laid out, which is Snapchatting home run nachos at a sports bar with no caption. <laughs> uh, is that one? Oh, it was the Dalmatian one, right? Well, no, that's one of. The, oh, well, yeah, but I was just. Yeah, I would just all of them. The I Dalmatian would, yeah, was the best one. Custody dispute in the Dalmatian filter, like a rant. On Snapchat yeah. the rent uh, versus milk. Uh, let's start with Kate. I 
there's something so specific about the custody dispute in the in the filter with the filter on because that is a real thing. Like that's I've yeah. seen that and it's so white it, that I have to go with that one. The tongue Milk comes out when it's not supposed to. Yeah, yeah the tongue comes out when it's about, or <laughs> yeah, just yeah. even like the super like glamorous filter yeah. on. But she's talking about. They love the glamour filter. Yeah, it looks so dated. Yeah, <laughs> that's. Uh, like, I've been with my buddy at a bar and he got a Snapchat and he opened it up. It was like eight purple squares and it was like a long ass video. <laughs> Open it up. It's uh, what was there was another filter. Um, it was like the real rosy cheeks and blue eyes one. Yeah, yeah. was getting chewed the fuck out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's a dead man. Yeah. It's, it's that's so specific. Yet everybody kind of can re- has seen that somewhere. Yeah. Snapchat, Pat. Um, it's versus milk, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just oh, am picturing like you know the like the fat little kid from Christmas Vacation who runs out of Eddie's trailer, and he's got like he's got a rat tail. Like that's what I'm picturing when yeah. I picture someone drinking get, milk. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exhaustion. Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. they're, they're going to run out of milk. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, God, but I think tattoos is just... Oh, no, no, too... this is against the Snapchat. Oh, one. I'm sorry, yeah. against Snapchat? It's tough. I'm going to go Snapchat, I think, is going to take it. But it's very close. Three for Snapchat? Yeah, it's close, but the Snapchat filter is just so specific. Although the idea of them running out of breath, <laughs> but I may change. You, you really have to be white trash to be putting filters on yourself and arguing over Snapchat. So I'm, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, yeah. Snapchat. I'll stick with milk. <laughs> Snapchat's going to move on. Uh, on the other side, um, the having much crap on your lawn versus the hotel hot tub. Francis. Ooh. I think if there were a, f- a white trash flag, it would have junk on the front lawn. So, junk on the front lawn. Junk on the front lawn. Yeah, that's going to be hard to beat for me. Think about that. Mur- what is it? The how, uh, making a murderer. Yeah. I mean, that is that is the anthem, and their junkyard was the playground of their lives mm. <laughs> that's it like a tornado could roll through town their house would look exactly the same after. yeah yeah exactly they might like, oh, organize home. things a little bit exactly maybe look better <laughs> yeah. Yeah. uh kb yeah that crap on your lawn yeah same crap on your lawn yeah it's gotta be crap on your on your lawn definitely gonna win but nick yeah yeah, crap on the lawn. Crap on the lawn versus the Snapchat custody dispute. Oh, fuck. Uh, I still have to go crap on the lawn. Like Francis said, it's like the flag of, like I see, I pass by and I know who lives there. Mm-hmm. Good hearted. But, uh, you know, they never, it was failure to launch. It was a failure to launch. They, yeah. they, they fi- halfway finish a lot of projects. Uh, yeah. It's they're trying to dig out a pond and it still has the plastic filter. Yeah. Like a, plastic a lot of tarps. Liner. A lot of tarps. Yeah. Yeah. You get busy, like things come up. It's like a sandbox with, that's wet with shotgun shells in it. Yeah. I used to have a neighbor that was a permanent yard sale. Like they would always have yeah. the tent up and people would just stop and like put, they would bring more stuff out. Selling old license plates. Yeah, yeah. always license plates. Yeah. have no name so or wording. It's just numbers. It's real license plates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, front yard, front yard. Front yard, Nick. Snapchat custody dispute. There were some, uh, we've said all the options, right? Uh, Yes. Okay. I will go things on the lawn. Things on the lawn. Yeah, it's things on the lawn. Things on the lawn? Uh, the Snapchat one is just so funny to me. I'm sticking with the Dalmatian Snapchat custody Dalm- rant. Dalmatian. Trust me, it's the it's the Snapchat filter. <laughs> 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 All right, three to two. It's stuff on the lawn. Crap on the lawn. Crap on the lawn going into the finals. The Snapchat you can at least like... They're only sending out the one person. The people are so shameless with the oh, stuff I was on the lawn. Saying like they, oh, they throw it up on their, their, their story. story. Yeah, I was yeah. picking yeah. stories. And they're just yeah. ranting to the public about yeah, their no, that's, custody that was my dispute imagine. or their relationship yeah. woes. Yes, yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, no, uh, they'll put it on the the geo like the one that I can look at on yeah. on the Snapchat map. That's how I saw it. They might even download and upload it to Facebook if they're yeah. not confident about it. And the Instead worst stories, is you know there's a guy hitting on that post. You know yeah, there's a guy oh, responding. Yeah. Or, or, oh. Who's disappointed when he meets her and she doesn't look like, like a dog. Uh, <laughs> sexy Dalmatian. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Uh, so now we have the cartoon pajamas versus the water park. 
um, Francis. Oof. Oof. Ooh. Rough one. I mean, I love a person wearing cartoon pajamas to the water park. Whoa. They can't go in the water because, you know, they've got two kids that they're holding. Um, I'll go with... Ugh, this one's a coin flip for me. I'll go with uh, the cartoon pajamas. I like that one. Cartoon pajamas? Pajamas, big time. <laughs> it's big time. Yeah, you, you could be not white trash and go to a water park. Like, you could just want to go to the... You're, unless you're white trash, you are not wearing cartoon pajamas out to your local gas station run. Yeah. Cartoon pajamas, Pat. First water park. Um, pains me to say, but cartoon pajamas is more white trash than a water park. Cartoon pajamas? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's cartoon pajamas. Yeah, cartoon pajamas. Cartoon pajamas. Uh, on the other side, bad tattoos versus swimming in shorts. <sighs> I hate to let you go. <laughs> this is that fucking guy. It's the slide. Both you of these are the slides guy. guy. I've really fallen for him over the course of this episode. <laughs> I, oh my God. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to go tattoos, I guess. I, One for bad tattoos. Yeah. Many options there. I'm going with swimming in shorts because, like, uh, there's bad tattoos. Also, there's I a specific way. Beyond white. There's a specific way swimming in shorts guy holds on to his shorts. Yeah. It's overhand. <laughs> it's one handed yep. and he's uh, got a kind of stance. Sorry. He's having too much fun. He's got, like, the lip piercing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's got a smell to him, a musk. Yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> He stinks a little, but there's something about it. He forgot to take his money clip out of the pocket, yep. so he all eight dollars are soaked. <laughs> yep. Having crumpled up money is very. Yeah. He always has a he always has a knife on him, a pocket knife yeah. that's a little too big that makes people uncomfortable. Yeah, he's been shot. Huh. <laughs> that's it. So Nick, yeah, I'm picturing these guys at a rope swing. <laughs> yeah, he's old. Oh, yes. he knows swing. how to get there too. Like you went the there with your friends, ground. and he's just already been there. <laughs> yeah. Been there all day. <laughs> yeah, You're not friends with him. He, he, he went there alone. <laughs> to the rope. of the rope swing. Rope on that rope swing has fiberglass in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you yeah. have to hold on. Yeah. He'll yeah. go first because he's done it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He explains to every person. He's like, no, no, no. You got to hold on tight. It's, before it's you swimming swim. in basketball shorts. Swimming in yeah. basketball shorts. Uh, yeah. yeah, basketball shorts. Three for basketball shorts. I'm going with the bad tattoo. I can't. Uh, to me, that's it's the epitome of white trash. Uh, bad tattoos. So when I'm picturing the guy and swimming in the basketball shorts, yeah, they all I'm picturing them right. Tattoos. All of these people throughout this bracket have the bad tattoos. But so yeah. many people have bad tattoos, even yeah. if they're not white trash. I feel like, I feel like, but yeah. only yeah. white trash will right. swim in and one shorts. I'm thinking of specific bad tattoos again, like the the fucking uh, Looney Tunes barbed wire tramp stamp bad live, portraits live of that live. tribal like bad, bad tattoos all- exist uh, everywhere yes, but mm. these specific ones like swim trunks are so accessible man <laughs> right yeah you can get, they just don't have them yeah. they have these shorts from 99 2001 yeah uh yeah so, honey, you're going with the bad, tattoo. bad tattoos yeah ah oh, no it is the 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 shorts swimming in shorts 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 are gonna move on versus the cartoon pajamas <sighs> Mm. Let's see. Where are you going? These are really good together. Um, I like the cartoon pajamas more than the swimming in the shorts. I think it's uh, a colorful, daring choice. You know they're proud of them. Yeah. Mm. They're always the white, white trash people are proud of that, whereas the, the, the shorts, swimming in the shorts, that's just for lack of other options. Mm-hmm. They're being uh, what they think efficient. These are shorts. I use them. I was wearing them already. Oh, a body of water. Fine. Mm-hmm. But the uh, person in the cartoon pajamas has other options to wear out. They and, do, but yeah. they've chosen this exactly. because it's fun. You use it as a conversation starter. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's flair. Yeah. It's yeah. flair for them. KB? Yeah, this is so commonplace in some towns along like the Ohio River it, that, yeah, no one would bat an eye. Mm-hmm. I feel like you'd almost combine these, just like wearing the wrong pants to the wrong events, like at the wrong times. Like maybe they sleep in bathing suits. Like it's just a, a rotation of things. <laughs> but they're just wearing them. They haven't quite figured time. out what pants to wear. <laughs> yeah, they just got to shift it 90 degrees. Uh, so I'll go with the, the pajamas. Cartoon pajamas. I'm going to go uh, swim shorts. Swim swimming shorts. Okay. There's something sexy about the pajamas. They can like roll them a little bit. Mm. Show off that, show off that <laughs> pierced belly button. Oh, no. Yeah, show off With the, the pierced belly button. Uh, boned up, Nick? Uh, 
You see that yeah. star popping out? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, going out in public in Tweety Bird pants <laughs> that are like very old. Like they're not even fluffy anymore. They're just they're worn. pushed down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The string's been chewed on. Uh, yeah, go with that. Kate? Ideally, swimming in shorts guy winds up with Cookie Monster Pants yes. Girl. Oh, yeah. There's some violence. <laughs> together, yeah. They have a kid yes. together. They do. Yeah. Yes. It does. It's too, <laughs> dead, too tumultuous. <laughs> right. It's, it's tough. <laughs> the kid died. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was canoeing, but he didn't know how to swim. Oh, uh, no. Um. I'm going off this. I can see Francis maybe being out one day and winding up swimming in regular shorts somehow. I, I do that a lot. I can't see Francis wearing no way as Tasmanian <laughs> Devil. That's a really good point. That's pajama like pants, <laughs> and so I'm gonna go. use me. Use me as yeah. your yeah. That would be go such pajama a pants. good punishment for Francis. For I would assume you're dying if you're wearing Tasmanian <laughs> right. Devil pants. It, yeah, things have really fallen yeah. a long way. You've been kidnapped, and that's the only reason you're. All my money's pants. gone, and my parents are in worse shape, and. Uh, you know, we're just, it's not good if I'm in, in that place. Yeah, it's pajama <laughs> pants. It's yeah. Because, like, you, it's the same price for just flannel or plaid <laughs> pants. Uh-huh. They chose, yeah. has. Part of their personality. <laughs> right. What would be the funniest place to send Francis in those cartoon pajama pants? That would make you the most embarrassed as a punishment. Oh, God. Not, I'm not talking like go to a gala or some shit, but like re- in reasonable. There would be like a, an almost intentional irony to wear them. Wearing them to the surf Teens lodge. are starting to wear them again to yeah. like the gym. Um, I think. I'm trying to think of somewhere you would go where it'd be not out of the ordinary or impossible for you someone to be wearing them. Go, uh, a Yankees game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's tough. That's That'd tough. tough. <laughs> I would Boy. feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> you could not. You could not. Or, or even worse would be like a Knicks game, like M- MSG yeah. Yeah. inside. Of the wood? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we have, we have to wear a crop top with it. Do we uh. give him courtside seats wearing Tweety Bird fucking <laughs> shirt pants? Uh, all right, the cartoon pajama is going to move on, and it's facing the crap on the lawn. Championship Ooh, what match. What about? Championship it's, match. Oh. It's good. I think we did good. Yeah, no, this is good. Yeah. Francis? Wow. Oh, I, I don't want to go first here. I'll just, I'll just say, I'll just say crap on the lawn. Crap on the lawn. That's mm-hmm. one for crap on the lawn. And I don't have a whole lot to defend it over the pants because I think they're both great. Hmm. Maybe. Pajama pants. Oh, my God. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is so... This is it. This is it. I agree. It's so... Spe- it's specific. It's visually like you can imagine you can it. imagine it so easily. We all had that moment of, oh, yeah, I've seen this a you can times see, at a Walmart or You can 7-11. see the ass of the person wearing them, and it's yeah. so bad. Yeah, she's so fat. <laughs> uh, oh, no, I think she's thin. I, was thinking, I think she's kind of hot. I think she's, she's got, I'm picturing a hot one. I'm picturing a hot girl. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not at all. Boobs. Yeah, the ugly yeah, ones will. I don't, know, I don't even regard them, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm going pajama pants. Pajama pants, fat. <laughs> it's so tough. My mind, I'm like picturing someone who like doesn't exist in my mind wearing these pajama pants <laughs> and everyone has seen them. Like I picture skinny. I don't picture fat. Right. Rolled down. Spaghetti string top. Yes, tucked white. into up, the Uggs. Tucked in Uggs. Yeah. She's at the fair. She's hanging out with a boyfriend who her parents don't like. Yeah. Well, that's because he's 30 and Slides she's 17. Guy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but... It's like Francis said, the flag of white trash is crap on the yard. So I'm going with white uh, crap on the yard. Two to two. Man, this is so tough. Yeah. This is so, so tough. I'm going crap on the lawn. Crap on the lawn. Crap on the lawn. It's, you know. (laughs) It's so, it's fixable. They just keep getting more stuff. It's projects they'll never finish. But they don't even see the crap on the lawn. It's yeah, they're blind. That's to the it. lawn. Yeah, they don't they're think about it. what the space would be if they didn't. If they moved 
the school bus. Mm-hmm. They they see it as a place to stop. Why do they have a where did they get a school bus? <laughs> yeah. An a cop car? Where'd they get a cop car? They have the an biggest plans Vic? for these things. Yeah. yeah, an old Crown Vic. The, oh yeah, I might sell it. What? Yeah, they think they're the things on the yard will somehow gain value. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. If they just put effort, a little yeah. work into it, they'll get yeah. a steal. I like that the vehicle on the lawn changes depending on geographic location yes, like yes. down the dirt like south jersey and the pine barrens it's just abandoned boats all over people's mm-hmm. lawns but further like, inland it's like super old rvs with bees nests all over them mm-hmm. yeah. the front lawn has the trampoline without the pads on the side it's just <laughs> yeah, nasty yeah, springs yeah, yeah. Yeah. the net that's like tilted in uh-huh. yeah. basketball hoop like francis said bags of sand mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you finished what are you doing yeah. yard work i have a i have a very i have a specific house in mind yeah same me too yeah. When I'm thinking about this, of course. When when COVID happened, we went and quarantined up in Maine, and I didn't perform comedy for eight months or something. And I thought I never would again. And then out of nowhere, these two comics in Maine told me about a hunting lodge that was three hours north in Maine, middle of the state, nowhere near the coast. And we drove up to perform there, and within an hour, it becomes logging roads. And they're dirt. Mm-hmm. You're driving on dirt roads for two hours. And uh, we passed a house that had a school bus in the front of it. And half of the roof was yeah. caved in. <laughs> and I remember thinking, oh, my God, these people. My dad bought a muscle car, a Barracuda, 1960-something Barracuda, that just Ugh. rotted in our driveway. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to fix it one day. But dude, never th- bought a single item to. Fix. At least it's in the driveway, <laughs> Not a though. Single, it was, but it was visible. But if it's falling it, yeah. apart, yeah. but it's no, it wasn't falling apart. It was there was nothing left, and he did not buy a part for this thing to Why? fix. Why? Yeah, he thought he would fix it. There's raccoons living in there. Bad back, uh, dude. I, <laughs> I have no fucking clue. It's yeah, I'm, things on front lawn. Things on the front lawn, Kate. Yeah. I had added to like they use car tires as landscaping. Yeah, um, like putting flower beds in the nose of his front lawn. Yeah, it's. Front lawn. Surprisingly, the winner of this bracket actually had both of the fi- final submissions, and it's Kate. Whoa! Kate had both. Oh wow! Oh, I had right that. Kate. I had the front lawn one too. Yeah, she was submitted first. That's how the rules go. But here, all right. Welcome to the club. Yeah. It's Kate. Winner circle. Off. Thank you. If I, had, <laughs> if I had known the credit was going to her, I would have voted for pajama pants. <laughs> so the winner of yeah. bracket episode eighty four is Kate with keeping crap on your lawn. Slides guy, if you're out there, we can do Myrtle Beach shooters out of this thing. <laughs> of I, can Admiral. Write, I can write Myrtle Beach in cursive on it. Of like Admiral and, uh, or some other ripoff brand. Hey, this was the yeah. topic for you. This was your topic. I, as soon as he invited me today, I was like, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, please. What does it say about us that it's always our guests winning? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're, we're givers. Yeah, Actually, we're givers. I, we're I givers. Won. Don't forget. I will say, I have MVP, Kyle. Your picks just, I have like a whole storyline of a family in my head now. I, yeah, great picks. Congrats. Uh, Okay, we'll be back next week with a brand new topic. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you.